The Morrison government has notched up its first day in Parliament, surviving tests of its control of the House and its political cohesion. The Prime Minister did little to draw attention to the wrenching leadership change two weeks ago, but he still faced tough questions over why he's in the leader's chair and Malcolm Turnbull is not. Here's political editor Andrew Probin. It looked friendly and at times almost perfunctory. I wish to advise the House that on Friday 24 August 2018, the Federal Parliamentary Liberal Party elected me as the leader of the Liberal Party. Last month's momentous events talked of as if a mere footnote in political history. There was a brief thanks to the fallen for the dedicated service of the former Prime Minister, Prime Minister Turnbull. Even echoed by the opposition, but evidence of the leadership coup was unmissable, sitting brightly on the backbench. I acknowledge also the outgoing Deputy Leader of the Liberal Party, the former Foreign Minister, Ms Julie Bishop. We acknowledge your service and uh, we thank you for it. But after the grace, came the hard pursuit. The Australian people deserve an answer. Why did you change the Prime Minister? The privilege of serving as the leader of the Liberal Party is a decision of the parliamentary party, and they have made their decision. The why question could just as well have been asked of Peter Dutton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I seek your indulgence. But the Home Affairs Minister was busy answering other ones. The claim is completely false, and this is my first chance to address the chamber. Peter Dutton explaining away his approval of visas for a pair of au pairs, prompting a singular assault on the coalition's control of the House by Labor. To try and break the furniture, to rip up the place like a CFMEU annual general meeting, we are going to keep getting on with the job. And soon enough they did. The result of the division is eyes 68, nose 72. Seeing off the first test of the Morrison government's grip on power as the day of reckoning approaches for the iron-fisted tactics used during the leadership battle. Honourable Senators. Lucy Kashui among the Liberal women being encouraged to name names. Identify those that are doing it because at the end of the day, I mean, it is unacceptable. It was always going to be a tough day at the office for Scott Morrison. You can't go through the calamity of a fortnight ago and expect otherwise. Labor's mission is to rain chaos on the government, but nothing it can do can match the harm the coalition has self-inflicted. Not that the opposition won't give it a shot. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the lights. Riffing on Scott Morrison's own description of his party's pantomime. Why don't they get things started? I'm the most sensational, celebrational, inspirational, muppetational. This is what we call the Muppet Show. Throw that man a bouquet. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.